Remigration is something that's being spoken about more and more in Western politics. The Swedes, that once super PC leftist nation, have even mooted voluntary repatriation. Now, I can completely understand why this issue has gone from the fringes to the mainstream. More and more people in Europe are waking up and realising that very soon, in their own nations, they will be the minority. In fact, continent-wide, Europeans could be the minority in Europe by the end of the century, if not sooner. I thought it would be good then to make a video on what is actually meant by remigration and the key issues that European countries will face if they try and pursue such a policy. I think it's important we demystify what this means exactly, because if we don't, this issue will be taken over by the centrists and the soft right and turn into another issue where they say they'll do something but then do absolutely nothing. This is what we're seeing with some mainstream politicians already. I believe Robert Jenrick has mooted remigration. However, he's doing something that some leading politicians in Europe are doing in basically just talking about getting rid of illegals. Now, I can't be the only person thinking this, but that's not really re-migration. Illegals shouldn't be here in the first place. They're illegal. So for me, that's really just a watering down of the term to try and win over disaffected voters who left to go to parties like Reform. However, there are bigger problems than just that with the remigration issue that I believe have to be sorted out. Number one, as Sweden is about to find out, many of the people they're offering voluntary repatriation for aren't actually going to go home. That's because, as much we're told by many migrants who've come over here, as well as leftists, that the Western world is evil, oppressive and pure hell for nobody who's a white, straight male, the reality is that that's not true at all. You're relatively free in the Western world, the living standards are very high, and society is comparatively much better organised than other parts of the world. Further to that, they know they can blame us and guilt trip us for every single fault that's gone on in their countries due to the supposed ills of colonialism. And even if our new arrivals do commit any crimes in European countries, the prisons over here are essentially like holiday camps to them compared to what they're used to back home. So simply offering those who haven't fit in at all a few grand and asking them to go home isn't really going to work, but we do have an even bigger problem than that. And that's that we're ruled by a neoliberal, globalist economic elite who couldn't care less about the state of Europe, let alone the will of the European people. All they want to see is their bottom line kept healthy by an unending stream of cheap labour from the third world. In essence, for any serious remigration to take place, you're going to need to take on the economic system. That, of course, is extremely difficult. They have a lot of power and influence. And on top of that, to compound matters, you're also going to have to take on the liberalist cultural system. That essentially, unknowingly, is in cahoots with the economic system. While it's very left-wing on the surface, it essentially is very open to the open borders mass migration ideology as well. It's completely taken over our academia, our media and increasing elements of our government. That means we have generations of youngsters who've been brainwashed to believe that any identification with their ancestors or Europe itself is the epitome of pure evil. The epitome of pure good is being a tolerant, open person who loves mass migration. These are the sort of people who despise the native working class, well represented by the modern Labour Party, and increasingly why the working classes feel alienated across Europe. And another thing they don't do is have any children. If we're to maintain any sort of civilization, we have to start breeding. It's the way to kick back against the globalist liberal system. However, most of these little darlings won't have kids because they think it's bad for the environment, or on top of that, are just so selfish and hedonistic, they'd rather have a life of sex and drugs and career rather than give themselves to duty, family, nation, God and meaning. Then you have the next problem with regards to this conversation, and that's that on one side of the remigration debate, you have the hard right types who are sort of puritanical with it, and then you have the more realistic type figures. For instance, when you look at some of the purists, they state that the only people that should be in Britain are people with British ancestry, but that of course is a bit of an impossibility. I've even seen people call out people with a black grandfather, for instance, even though they're completely integrated and very passionate about the UK. This of course begs important questions like where do you send someone who presents as white is 25% African DNA and 75% English? 
to Africa, would the Africans accept him? In essence, things like that, to me at least, seem way too extreme and would never garner mass public support. However, the realist type figures seem to have some figures in mind. Some people have mooted figures around 5%, some 10%, but that also begs the question, who stays and who goes? Now, of course, there are people like me who are very invested in that question because my wife is from Eastern Europe originally. Now, we have children and we're married and she loves the country and has never taken a penny from it. However, I would be concerned if people are speaking about repatriating her. Of course, I would go with her. She and my children will always come first. Of course, that scenario applies to lots of us. Many of us have wives from different parts of Europe, maybe even different parts of the world. And second to that, we have ancestry from different parts of Europe and different parts of the world too. Now, I'm not raising any of this to be difficult. I just believe it's a genuine issue that we're facing and has to be ironed out with very clear dictates. After all, if any of these dictates aren't very clear or are too stringent, it feels to me the remigration conversation would be destroyed before it even got started due to being too hardline. The other key issue with regard to remigration is time itself. The mass migration figures are consistently huge and only going up year on year. On top of that, you already have many brainwashed leftist types in the country. That means that it's only so long before there'll be a critical mass of leftists and immigrants who've come into the country to squash any conversation of remigration forever. This is why the remigration issue looks very difficult to solve. It's why also balkanization looks increasingly likely. However, I do believe there is another option on the table. That other option is what I would term a sort of civilizational rebirth, something which gives people an option other than the liberal lifestyle of self-centeredness, materialism and hedonism. It's only via this that the European people will be able to refine their soul and challenge liberalism, both in its economic and cultural forms. However, I do think that will mean new understandings, new geographical boundaries maybe too, maybe even different forms of loyalty across the continent. I know it sounds dramatic, but with the way things are going, I do think the present boundaries we have across Europe may well be in the balance and people may have to unify in order for Europe and Western culture to survive in any meaningful way into the long run. Now, of course, I don't know what that means in practical terms yet. I'm just looking at all of the present things that are going on around us and trying to make an educated guess. But I do think we're going to have to think differently into the future. That, of course, can be quite exciting and lead to a very deep sense of rebirth and new meaning. These are just my thoughts, however. Do let me know what you think about this issue down below. And do consider subscribing to the channel.